What's up Dancer Chicks? Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing how I was able to lose over 30 pounds and get into the best shape of my life, plus some tips to help you on your fitness journey. And this is what I've learned throughout the years, not only from my own personal experience, but also my experience as a fitness coach working with over 300 clients. So let's go ahead and get right into the video. The first tip is to have a strong why, preferably something that's connected to more than just aesthetics. Now, while there's absolutely nothing wrong with wanting to look good, I know that I wanted to look good too when I was on my weight loss journey, but I learned that having a solely aesthetic goal can be a little bit of a slippery slope and it can kind of make things a little bit harder for you because you're constantly judging how you look all the time you're comparing yourself to other people and it can just make it really hard to stay consistent and motivated so instead of only trying to lose weight just to look a certain way you really want to focus on how you feel or just have a deeper connection to why you're trying to lose weight and be healthier in the first place. One of my biggest whys was my mom. She unfortunately passed away from cancer when I was in college. Losing her to a health-related illness made me realize that I needed to prioritize my own health goals and my own physical well-being if I wanted to live a longer, better quality life. So my mom is definitely one of my biggest inspirations and one of the reasons why I even started down this path of health and wellness in the first place. And when things get really challenging in my own own personal health journey, I think a lot about her and that gives me that additional motivation and push to keep going. So for you, losing weight could be about aesthetics, but it could also be about being healthier for your kids so that you can be around longer for them, for your family, for your friends, or for yourself. But beyond just looking good, have a stronger connection to why these goals are important to you. I promise you it's going to carry you a lot further and just focusing on looking good. And if you are currently on a weight loss journey, I would love to hear what your goals are and what your why is in the comments. So feel free to let me know down below. The second tip that I have is to make your fitness journey as fun as possible. And it's something that I wish I would have done at the start of my 30 pound weight loss journey because it would have made a huge difference. At the beginning of my journey, I was trying to go to the gym and I just didn't enjoy it. It was not fun for me and it was hard for me to stay consistent and make it a routine that I could stick to long term. It wasn't until I took my first ever Zumba class that things changed for me because with Zumba, it didn't feel like a traditional workout. I was just dancing, having a lot of fun, and by the end of it, I was sweating all over, I had burned all these calories, and I was able to lose over 30 pounds in just a few months doing dance workouts consistently. So don't think that you have to do things a certain way in order to see results, especially if it's something that you don't really vibe with or you just don't enjoy. So you will see much better results and you'll be able to stay consistent longer and make it a lifestyle change when you incorporate movement, activities, and just different changes into your journey that you actually like, things that are going to light you up, that are going to be fun for you, that you're going to look forward to. It just makes it so much easier. And doing dance workouts like the ones on my YouTube channel are how my clients are able to lose 10, 15, 20, 30, 50 plus pounds, fit back into clothes that they haven't been able to wear in years and feel more confident in themselves. And that's all through the power of dance and fun movement. So if you were somebody who was looking for more fun cardio, more fun workouts, definitely check out the other videos that I have on this channel and hit that subscribe button while you're at it if you want to stay for a while. But overall, I really encourage you to just focus on how can I make this more fun for me every single day? It's just gonna change the game for you. The third tip that I have is to commit to goals that you can actually measure. When I first started my weight loss journey, I tried to set a goal of losing 10 pounds or I'm gonna lose three inches off of my waist. And while there's nothing wrong with goals like that, the reason why those are a little bit trickier to measure is because you don't really have control over how the scale moves or how much inches you lose off of your waist. And oftentimes you will start to see some real changes before it ever actually manifests on a scale. So instead, I want to encourage you to commit to setting goals for yourself that you can actually measure yourself. Meaning at the end of the week, if you check off a box and say, hey, I was able to complete this goal, 
yes or no, that is going to give you a little bit of a better indication of the progress that you're making. And it's also going to give you something to strive for each week and improve upon each week. So for example, instead of saying, I want to lose 10 pounds this month, you could set a goal to hit 5k steps every single day. That's something that you can actually track and measure every single day to say, yes, did I do this? Or no, I didn't. And based on your consistency, you can adjust that week to week. And you know that by hitting those 5k steps a day or five times a week, that's going to help get you closer to that overall goal of losing 10 pounds. So overall, you want to commit to goals that you have a bit more control over. It's just going to take a lot of the mental stress off of you. You're not going to be as attached to how the scale is moving or measurements or anything like that but it, it does give you a target to focus on and hit. Now, as a follow up to this last tip, tip number four, I really want you to focus on making small changes that are realistic. In the past, I have definitely been guilty of trying to go from zero to 100 real quick and trying to make all of these intense changes to my health and fitness lifestyle and not allowing myself to build on those habits or those changes slowly over time. And what typically happens is we bite off more than we can chew, we start to get really overwhelmed, we start to fall off, and then that starts to demotivate us a little bit. And then we kind of stop and then we go back into this cycle of starting, stopping, starting, stopping. I definitely preach sustainable, healthy weight loss over here. So if that's not something that you are interested in, then please exit stage left. I think this is really important because how you lose it is how you're able to maintain it and keep it off long term. So if you're doing a bunch of things that are really overwhelming and unsustainable, it's going to be difficult for you to stay with it long enough to reach your goals, but then also maintain it long after you have hit that in mark. So it's okay to start small. It's okay to take things slow. It's okay to be very realistic and not try to do too much too soon. A lot of people like to look for the super fast, quick and easy shortcut to weight loss. But the real shortcut is just by taking the small steps every single day, allowing them to build and compound on each other and staying consistent with it. You will reach your goals a lot faster and you will be happier with your overall transformation when you go about it in a healthier, sustainable way and taking those smaller steps that build up over time. So I really hope that this was helpful. And if you are currently on a weight loss journey, I wanna just give you some encouragement and to let you know that you are not alone. One of the reasons why I started this channel was because I was craving community. I was craving workouts that I create now for my YouTube channel. Just to help me to stay consistent and I wanted to motivate other women who similar to me didn't really like going to the gym and they just wanted something fun something enjoyable to add to their fitness routine so I hope that this video gave you some helpful tips to help you on your fitness journey please feel free to leave a comment letting me know which tip you like the most and if you want to offer some encouragement to anyone else who's on their weight loss journey please feel free to share that love below thank you so much for watching this video hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed it Give this video a thumbs up to let the algorithm know that you want to see more content like this and make sure you stay tuned for the next video. Take care and I'll see you next time.